Hi, this is Mr. West, and today you're watching a tutorial video for three digit by three digit multiplication. This is from mathdrills.com. Make sure to check out Math Drills in the link in the description below. They have amazing math resources and they are a proud partner of West Explains Best. So let's go ahead and start with this. We're going to start with number two. We have three digits in each number that we are multiplying, and we need to get to an answer. I would first recommend starting with two digit multiplication if you haven't mastered that yet. I have a video on that as well if you want to check that out. But we're going to go ahead and start assuming that you know some things about multiplication. I would recommend knowing your multiplication facts. So if you need a times table in front of you, that would be recommended also. So what I'm going to do here is the process of multiplying, I'm looking at this one right here, is taking each digit in the bottom number and then multiplying it by individually each number, each digit in the top number, okay? So seems like a lot, but it's not so bad when you break it down. So I'm gonna just take turns, that's how I like to say it, multiplying this nine by each one of these digits. And I'm start with the four. So I have nine times four, and that gives me 36. Now I can't just write 36 here. Instead, I need to take this three and carry it over to the next place. Okay, so that's like a carryover, right? There's extra stuff, because I still need to do the nine times the two in the tens place. Okay, just as a quick reminder, this is gonna be helpful later on. I have the ones place right here, the tens, and the hundreds. And then I could go on to the thousands, ten thousands, et cetera, okay? So the hundreds is here, tens place, and the ones. So I can't just put the three there and then move on to the hundreds place when this two is still in the tens place, okay? So I need to do the nine times the two now, can't forget that one. Oh, by the way, I forgot. I'm done with the four, so I can erase that. Now I have nine times two, and that's 18. But we're not gonna write 18. We still have to add this leftover stuff plus three. So that's really 21. Now, again, I can't just write 21 like this. I'm gonna take the second digit, first digit uh, in that number, in that two digit number, and carry it over to the next column. Really what that represents is that represents 200. Okay, so I had 20. Essentially, I had 20 times nine for that column. In my first column, I had four times nine, and I'm adding it to 20 times nine, which is 180. So because I had those two, the 30 left over plus the 180, that's where I got that 210 from. So when it said two, one right there, that was really referring to 210. I know that's kind of like a long-winded answer that may confuse people, but I just wanted to explain why the carrying over is a thing. So I carry over that two, and now I have nine times one, which is nine plus that two, and I get 11. So now I have a thousand, okay? So I have one, 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 six. Now, one of the most common mistakes I see is once people complete that cycle, okay? And I'm gonna erase this. If you need a reference of ones and tens and all that, let me know or just rewind. Um, now that we completed that cycle, we're gonna be moving on to the next digit, which is, let me get my highlighter here all lined up which is the zero, okay? So the zero is in the tens place, okay? And the most common mistake I see is they immediately start and they start multiplying and they go, oh, four times zero, two times zero, okay, et cetera. Make sure that when you go over to the next digit in the number that you have a placeholder for what it represents. That represents the tens place. So I need that zero representing that that's the number 10, right? Tens place, you have that zero because we're not in the ones place anymore. We're in the tens place. And then we're gonna take turns multiplying zero times all three of these numbers. So multiply zero times four, zero times two, and zero times one. You'll notice that any time we have a zero that we essentially can skip that line, okay? Now, I would recommend kind of, if you're not comfortable with this yet, making sure to include this so that when you move on to the next one over, so the next one over, I need to do blue. When you move on to the next one, that you have a placeholder and you know that you're now in the hundreds place and you need, oops, and you need two zeros now instead of just one. So I did that zero column, that was my tens place row. Now I'm in my hundreds place row and I'm gonna start by multiplying two times four, two times two, and two times one. So I know two times four is eight, two times two is four, and I have two times one is two. So now I'm ready to proceed. One of the, another common mistake I see is students don't have these lined up. They're all scattered all over the place and they add incorrectly because they're adding 
for example, tens place with hundred place numbers. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure you are organized, take as much space as you need, and then go on from there. Okay, now, um, I'm going to talk about how this line we don't even need, and that's exactly why this spacing here, look at the spacing compared to this spacing, is shorter because it's assuming you only need two lines, which you do. You only need two lines because that zero is essentially just a filler. So we could expand this a little bit, expand this one a little bit, make sure the digits are lined up, and we're ready to add. That's our last step. We're going to add these numbers together. So we have 6 plus 0 is 6, 1, 9, 5, and 2. So our final answer is 25,916. Now that we have that in place, we can go to something like number 1. So number 1, we're going to do the exact same thing we did the first time. Okay, so I'm going to take the 6, I'm going to multiply it by each one of these digits, carrying over any tens place. I, I'm doing air quotes with my fingers. <laughs> you can't see that, but I'm doing air quotes because it's not really the tens place. It depends on which number. Like, for example, for multiplying by the tens place, that's really the hundreds place. And I'll get to that in a second. So we have 6 times 5, that's 30. So that 3 is in the tens place, right? 30, and we add it over. So now we have 6 times 9, which is 54. So I'm going to drop the 4 down. Nope, no, I'm not. I have 54, but then I need to add that 3. So really, that's 57. And I carry over the quote-unquote tens place, but really, that was the hundreds place. That's what I was referring to. Now I have 6 times 9. That's 54 again, but I need to add that 5, and I get 59. Okay, so now I'm all set. Very important, again, that you're lining up these digits. Stay organized here. That's very important. Okay, moving on to the six. So let me go ahead and erase this. I got done multiplying all those. Uh, I think I used green last time. Let's try to stay consistent. So I have six times five, six times nine, and six times nine. I'll take turns uh, writing these down. So I'm gonna start with six times five. Okay, so I have six times five, and that is 30 again. Okay, so we have basically the same numbers. I'm gonna put it above here because you don't wanna do a lot of erasing in this. You just wanna kind of keep going. And you can also keep track of your work this way too. So I have 30. Now I'm gonna move on to the next digit. So I have 6 times 9, and that is 54. But I have to add that 3 again, like I said, and so that's 57. Okay, and the 5 goes over here just like we had before. So I'm going to erase that, and I'm highlighting this. And I have 9 times 6 is 54 again. Okay, but I need to add the 59, or the 5 to get 59. Now, here's the problem. I hope you guys recognize that I left something out. How can we get the same number but be multiplying by a bigger digit? That's because I forgot to move this over. I need to always have a filler zero so that when I move on to the tens place digit, this represents a tens place answer. Okay, so very important that we're multiplying by 60 now, not by six. So we need that number there as a filler. Okay, that zero. We need to place that zero. So as I move on to my last color, my last digit, I have eight times five to start, okay? And because I'm doing the eight, that's the hundreds place, so I need two zeros to start us off. Now, I have eight times five, that is 40. I'm gonna drop the zero down and put a four up here, plus four. Okay, so now I'm on to eight times nine. That's 72, but I need to add the four, so that's gonna give me 76, like this, and then a plus seven. And then I have 8 times 9, that again is 72, but this time I'm adding 7 to get 79. Okay, now one way you can check your answer to see if you're doing this correctly, each one of these numbers, as you go down, needs to get bigger. So if you get a smaller number or the same number like I got, then that means you messed up and you can check your work that way. Now the final step is to add. So we're going to add these numbers together. So I do each column separately. And it looks like I stayed pretty straight with these lines. So we're good to go. Zero. Seven plus zero plus zero is seven. Then I have seven plus nine is 16. Carry the one, just like normal addition. Then I have five plus one. That's supposed to be a plus sign. Five plus one is six. Plus nine is 15. Plus six is 21. Carry the two this time. Seven plus uh, nine is 16. Carry the one and I have one plus seven is eight. 
So my final answer is 861,670. So yes, these are long and involved problems, but they're not bad if you take it step by step. I'm just gonna do one more. This one's a quick one, okay? And again, these are all spaced out based on the number of lines that you need. Anytime you see a zero one, you're gonna need a, a one less line, okay? But you need to make sure, for example, this one, you're gonna do your two times eight times two, uh, two times six, and then you're gonna skip on to the four, and you're gonna have two zeros before you start that four multiplication, okay? Very important, because you're essentially skipping that zero, that's gonna get, it's gonna yield zero across the board, but then you need your pl uh, placeholder of uh, two zeros for the hundreds place. My last one that I wanted to do, I'm gonna use one color for this and go quicker, okay, is this one right here. So I don't need any of those. So I'm gonna skip ahead to the three, but it's in the hundreds place, so I need two zeros to start, and then I have three times eight is 24. Three times nine is 27, so I'm gonna add uh, two and I get 29. That's supposed to be a nine. Three times 29, okay. And then I have three times eight again, 24 plus two is 26 and that's gonna be my answers. So I don't need any other lines besides that. I don't need to do any addition. That one's just nice and simple. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions on it, and I hope to see you next time right here on West Explains Best.